It's the role of companies and HR departments to make a workplace that is safe and welcoming for everybody. And in fact, the research shows, and this is from my old job back in the Google days, that psychological safety is one of the biggest predictors of team performance and whether people stick around or not. There's a few specific things companies can and should be doing. One is being vocal about these issues. Because if you don't talk about stuff, it doesn't get better. The second thing is looking at the data. So for example, most companies of any size do all kinds of employee surveys to figure out who's happy, who's sad. Not every company cuts that data by demographic segment, by gender, and looks at those differences and then diagnoses those. One of the indicators of inequity in your population is people will tell you in what their response rates are and how they respond to questions. So there's source of data within the company that you can actually measure, look at, and then dig in and fix. The final thing is, and this is a philosophical one, you have to choose who to believe, if you're an executive or an HR person. And the truth of the matter is, the incentives are completely stacked against people speaking the truth and coming forward and saying, this awful thing happened to me, or this small thing happened to me and it really sucked and I don't want it to happen to anybody else. There's very little incentive for people to do that. If they're doing that, believe them. And then you have a choice about whether you wanna take action. And if you're in a position to take action, take action. That's your responsibility.